the western part of the United States is facing a scorching heat wave with temperatures hitting 41 degrees Celsius in the states of Montana, Texas and Arizona. The rising temperatures have put an excess load on power systems with officials urging residents to conserve energy to prevent power outages. To make matters worse, the extreme heat is also sparking wildfires in the area due to rivers drying up as well as the arid conditions. The falling humidity levels means that the risk of wildfires is dramatically increasing. Scientists are pointing to climate change being the main reason for this harsh drought. And while there's not much that can be done in the short term, it is up to each one of us to reduce our carbon footprint so that we can combat this long term. If you're an arachnophobe, meaning someone who is afraid of spiders, this next story is not for you. The Australian state of Victoria has seen heavy rains and floods this last week, which has caused lakhs and lakhs of spiders to rush above ground to use a survival tactic called ballooning. This tactic basically involves them shooting strands of silk on any vegetation it can stick to, so that they can get above ground faster. This, however, has led to spiderwebs blanketing trees, road signs, and even some local farms. Due to this ballooning, silk being lighter than air, spiders can sometimes hitch a ride on them for over a hundred kilometers. Now that's quite impressive. The state of Florida in the USA has destroyed its last coal chimney, thereby completely removing its reliance on coal power. Florida has made a commitment to supply its state using only clean energy sources, and it has achieved this milestone with the destruction of its last coal-powered system. So you see, iGraspers, it is possible to power an entire state using only renewable energy sources, and that means even us at home should strive towards a better future by actively fighting against climate change and being environmentally conscious. More than 100 women in each of the 33 village panchayats in the district of Churu in Rajasthan have planted close to 5,100 saplings simultaneously, pledging to treat the plants as green members of their families. The main person behind this was Sham Sundar Jani, who also had received an award from the UN earlier this year, helped the women choose the saplings and also aided them in planting them with care. The familial forestry campaign has now over 10 lakh families in 15,000 villages of Western Rajasthan and over 25 lakh trees have been planted over the last 17 years. 